Okay, we've uh, discussed various ways of cleaning our non-existing PCV system, which does exist, but we don't know, <coughs> pardon me, we don't know if it's working, do we? How would we tell? Well, I was out here working on my car today, and I decided, well, let's just take a look at this and see if we can see a way to test this thing very easily. And I found a pretty interesting way. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start this engine up. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you the test. Now I've hooked up, just for simplicity's sake, a little Mighty Vac gauge set right here. So you'll be able to see the vacuum show up in the system. <laughs> Find a place to put it here where it will sit and not fall off and kill something especially itself. <laughs> well, there's a place for it. <coughs> okay, you see where the gauge is setting right now? That's zero. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. I've stuck the other end of the vacuum gauge down inside this dipstick tube. The gas cap is on. Oh, the oil cap. Oh, boy. The oil cap is on. And the air box is missing. So we're going to start this thing up now over here and open the door I gotta take you with me unfortunately because I don't have a camera around today I never have a camera around I'm gonna get myself in here or not it is raining out here that's why I'm trying to stay as dry as I can so here we're gonna start the engine there we are it will run with the air box off and uh, anyway as you can see, there's no vacuum right here, right now. Get my fingers out of the way. All right. I'm sorry this is shaking so much. I'm out here trying to do this by myself. Now I got this little plastic cap, a funny little nipple on it. I'm going to put it right inside this fitting here. Plug it off. Oh, I watch the gauge. The gauge is going up. There's 10 inches of vacuum. So, we got about 14, 15, 16 inches of vacuum. It's still coming up. But before it gets stupid, I'm going to go ahead and pull this cord back out. You can hear the vacuum leaking back into the system. And I can do this again for people who didn't notice me putting it in there. There we are, I'm going to put it right in that little hole right there. Where your S-shaped hose would normally go through our filter. And here we are. And the vacuum gauge is rising. Okay. So what does that prove to us? Let me go ahead and dump this, and we're going to talk about this for a few moments, okay? Let me get uh, this thing turned back off. I don't want to leave the windows open because <coughs> it's raining. It doesn't rain here often, but when it does, it's persistently stupid about it. And, okay, here we go. <coughs> We've discussed this PCV system on here. There is no, there are no, is no, there am no <laughs> moving parts on it. There's nothing in here that moves. It's all done by hook or crook through ported passageways inside the runners to the combustion chambers. Remember we got four valves per cylinder here. So they got multiple runners to each cylinder. And we talked about all the hoses down in there and how they operate and what they do and where you should dump the Berryman B12 to clean the system out. And we talked about this S-shaped hose that plugs on here that should not ever have oil on it. Now you'll notice I haven't cleaned any of this. There's no oil up here. None. And if I pull this oil filler cap, you're going to find that there's no baby poop in here either. These are bugger to get up. No baby poop. Clean as can be. Oily, but clean. 
see, no poop. And no poop down in there. And I can get a little light here and light it up for you and show you what we're talking about. Oh. Got these LED lights. They're really super cool. They have them at uh, various parts houses. Okay, there's no brownness down in there at all. And yeah, get in there. See, it's discolored from previous oils that have been in there. But there's no, no, no baby poop anywhere. So, the vehicle is running clean. It's not having a problem with developing com deposits in the combustion chamber, I mean the oil pan, because we have a system that is actually purging the air. Now remember, the air purge is done through this hose, it goes down this hose. And the air that goes down that hose comes out of the air box. And the air box is over here. Uh, gotta move all this garbage around. Working in a garage on a rainy day is a pain. And there is our goofy S-shaped hose. There's some dirt on there from road dirt, but there's nothing inside there. It's clean as a weasel. So, nothing inside here is clean all the way through. Nothing should be in here but clean air at any time. Nothing but clean air. And the clean air comes from the air filter. Comes in, goes through that tube to the pile or to the sound deadening chamber, and wanders around, taking all the sonic booming noise out of it, and going right down the air intake past the throttle body. Now, uncleaned, untouched by human hands, I'm going to show you my throttle body. Show you how dirty it is not. Let me get that light again. I got another light here somewhere. I did have. Well. Hmm. Let me find another light. There it is right there. I'll show you how clean this is. Now I have got maybe 20,000 miles on this. Nothing. It's clean. That has not been cleaned. Look at that. No gunk. No gunk anywhere. So, the story is, if you got gunk, you got a crankcase ventilation problem. And the crankcase ventilation problem is because you're not purging the crankcase. Okay? So, I'll, I'll try to amend. I don't know. I'm not much good at editing these videos or these various YouTube things. So I'll probably just post this as another video. And uh, I was just checking my spark plugs tonight. I wanted to see what they looked like. Anyway, that's the story from here. And it's raining. It's humid. But it's cool. The mountains are nice out there. And, uh, whew. See the rain falling over there, miles and miles away. Anyway, so that's garden hose about to be replaced. Anyway, you don't need to know that. I'm out of here. See you guys later. Bye.